for that, or will you forgive me for slapping you? I'm sorry. You know, you know I've never done that. I've never even spanked you. But you're right. I was out of control. Ma, well, don't worry about it. It's already forgotten. Maria? Cordero? I'm sorry for your sake that Al was taken by the Lord so soon in his life. I know how much you depended on him and loved him. Paul always loved the 23rd Psalm. I think he'd like us to say that. And let us pray. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Through baptism into his death, we were buried with him, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we are also to live with him. We know that Christ, once raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no more power over him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please be seated. I'd like to speak personally of Al for a moment. I've seen many proud fathers in my time, but none prouder than Al. And that continued over the years as Cord grew into a man, very much like his father. Loyal, decent, caring, living by the standards this great country was founded on. Thank you for coming, friends of the Roberts family. We are gathered here to commend the soul of Al Roberts, devoted husband of Maria, beloved father of Cordero, and trusted friend to all those who are gathered here to pay their final respects, to the eternal rest he so richly deserves. I can think of no more fitting epitaph than the words of his wife Maria when I asked her how I might best describe her husband. She said to me, he was a man. He had the courage to live, and he had the courage to die. And while he was alive, he had the courage to love. Amen. Al Roberts' funeral. What about according to Richard? I think she went to see Cord Roberts. Ma, no. She has no right here. This is no time for a scene, Ma. This is an insult to your father's memory. I want her out of here. Just ignore her. Come on, this is all over. We'll just go home. All right. But I do not want to see her at the burial. Yeah, I know, Ma. I'll take care of that. There, there, my dear. Oh, I'm sorry, Father. I take it you're a friend of the family. Yes. Yes, I was very fond of uh, Mr. Roberts. We all were. He was a fine man. Yes, he was. Do you know Cord and Maria? Yes. Then I can tell you that the uh, burial will take place a little later on today. Uh, 
Well, Father, I'm afraid I wasn't invited. Maria wanted a simple affair, but I'm sure they won't mind if you attend. No, I, uh, I really don't think I should go there. Perhaps you'd prefer to offer your condolences at the ranch. I know they went back to rest and refresh before the burial. I could drop you off. Well, actually, I, I flew all the way down here from Philadelphia just to pay my respects, so maybe I should just go back to the hotel room and, and then to the airport. Well, at least let me drive you to the hotel. It sounds like a nasty thunderstorm brewing. Yeah. Well, I'd appreciate the ride, Father. It's the least I can do for a friend of Cord and Maria.